I'm telling you, it just ain't right. This guy's got no value for traditions. Mazo may have pissed me off once or twice, but he always respected tradition. Know what I'm saying? And another thing. Look, Benny, you got a great don't squawk to me. There's the man you want to talk to. I love the zinger. How about the moon and the gin and the springer? Hey, you crazy bastard! Uh-oh, boss. Looks like trouble. Tell the Don that Eugene Pescato of Philly would like a word with them. Now! Hey, boss, you hear that? Boss? We're gonna make this scumbag pay. Nobody kills a Pescato and gets away with it, right, son? Yeah, Dad. Whatever you say. Only, ain't this a little risky? We could get arrested carrying guns in the open like this. How can you say that? Here we are, about to exact vengeance for the death of my brother, your uncle, and you talk about risk? Besides, the captain of this precinct is a good friend of mine. Hello. Play ball. Come on, let's get him! Here comes Red! Red 30! 35, the 40, the 50, the 60, the 70, the 80, the 90! Touchdown! The crowd goes wild! Well, the crowd goes anyway. Holy... Did you see the game, Kathy? Did you? I scored that last TD for you, you know. You know a few proteins have made me some offers, but I told them I had to finish school first. I think that's best, don't you? Hey, boss, don't you think maybe we should get out of here? Pardon me. What have I said about interrupting me when I'm talking with a lady? You never said nothing about that, boss. Oh, well then, what's on your mind? Well, I was just thinking with all those bellows lying around outside, maybe the cops might have something on you. Sounds to me like you're calling me a paltroon, Tommy, my boy. Oh, I don't know. The thought of going someplace else where we could be more private has its attraction. Get the guys together and meet me out back, Tommy. I know just the place. Don't tell me you can't do this, Francis. Because if you can't do it, you're worthless to me, and you know what that means. Please, Don Mozo, try to see it from my standpoint. The heat has really been on up here since Lister's arrest. I know that, Francis. Do you think I came to Miami for my health? But nobody is gonna take any note of this. It's too small a matter. That's easy for you to say from where you sit. For the sake of our friendship, I'm gonna forget you just said that, Francis. Now get to work. Here, give me another one of these. You think you'll do it, boss? Don't ask stupid questions, Albert. But Mr. Albert, the file says- Just shut up and make the call, Anna. Good lord, when did I ever get in the graph? Ah, oh, Walter ain't so bad, just a little touchy is all. He's not looking for trouble, really. Fact is, if you can learn how to talk to him, he's a pretty nice guy. Hi, Walter! <laughs> Pardon me, Walter? Um, listen, the warden wants to see you, but, but it's good news, honest. Warden told me that the parole board wants to review your case early. They cited your exemplary behavior in the prison population as the reason. I'll be rooting for you, Walter. Yeah? Uh, hiya, Lionel. Well, hello, Captain. Please, come in. How have you been? What's on your mind, Captain? Eh, since the big head has gone public again, the brass have been really leaning on me. Well, then you better get somebody right on it, huh? Ah, oh, come on, Lionel, you know what I'm asking you. Maybe I do, Captain. But it's more fun watching you squirm like this. Look, I know Kelloway's getting shot has been rough on you. It's been rough on all of us. Not on you. You haven't even dropped by the hospital to see him. Hey, you know, we never got along. I just figured he wouldn't be too happy to see me. What are you talking about? The man's in a fucking coma! You don't give a damn about Kelloway. Don't worry, Captain. I'll take on the big head case. But not because you asked me to. I'll take it because I'm a cop, at least for now. Just stay the hell out of my way, you got that? And you get your fat, greasy ass off my partner's desk! Yeah, you can have anything in the fridge. Cold cuts, beer, whatever! That ought to keep those goons busy for a while. Now, let's get down to business. Well, that's fine, but aren't you gonna take that off? Huh? What do you mean? Aw, oh, come on, baby. That can't be your real face, all green like that. I want to see what you look like under there. No way, lady! What's the big deal? Are you... afraid to take it off? All you have to know is that this ain't coming off. Got that? Yes, but you won't be getting anything. Not as long as you're playing Masquerade. Wait! I'll t t take it off. No! 
No! No, we won't! Not as long as I'm in charge! W what am I s s saying? I, c I, c I can take it off if I want to. Haven't t t t taken it off in over a week. M m m makes me s s so p p p paranoid. Need, need a rest. Ugh, I, c I, c I, c I guess it was a little, little t tough for me to b believe you like me for, 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 for me. Y y y you see, I, n I never had a c girlfriend before. That, that that that's why I couldn't let you, let let you leave, cause you, you you really save it, buddy. Just put your hands up and get away from the mask. Like me. Look, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. The thing is too dangerous. You felt the power it holds, how it courses through you. You must realize how terrible it is. You look like a really nice guy, and I wouldn't want to hurt you. So I'll just take the mask. No. Hey, what gives? Pippin, get her. We'll check out the boss. I never trusted that bitch. This ain't the boss, Tommy. It's Lil Nunzio, our driver. What do you suppose he's doing here? I don't know what the hell's going on here, but I'm gonna find out. Hey, Tommy. After we get her out of the attic, she might not talk. What do we do then? What do you think, Benny? Over, babe. She, she's gone. 